The Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research says samples of trial cancer treatment drugs by local herbalists have tested effectively on some cancer tissues. Officials say the institute has since 2009 been working closely with local herbal practitioners under a special project in search of cancer drugs. My colleague Ohiming Teria has more in this report. Anti-cancer drug Taso and Artemisinin used in the treatment of malaria were all derived from plants. Scientists and local herbalists are on a program spearheaded by Noguchi Institute on a cancer drug discovery mission. Researchers have identified and conducted trials with a number of plants believed to contain compounds needed for cancer drugs. Professor Rijana Apia Opon is head of clinical pathology department at the University of Ghana and toxicologist at the Noguchi Memorial Institute. The Noguchi Institute has been researching into cancer and uh, we so far we have done, uh, we have a broader vision and um, we have started off with drug discovery and uh, we have been working over the few, past few years trying to find um, drugs or plants with the potential to treat cancer. And so we have breast cancer, not only breast cancer, the other cancers, including breast cancer. And uh, indeed, we have worked on a couple of plants that have shown interesting activities, and we are still working on them. And the idea is to come out with some plants, some compounds that can be developed further into drugs that would be useful on the market for treating breast cancer. So the idea is to see which compound is effective. And when this compound is, comes out, then you are getting a drug. Then you can make more of that compound, and then you can characterize the compound, and then do a few other experiments to see, is it toxic? Because you have the plant itself, maybe people are using it, it's okay. But if you get the compound out of it, then you need to do animal toxicity first. Is it toxic to animals when they take it? What concentration should you use? What dose do you need that will treat it? And so we do all those things. And then, because we have worked on it, tested it with in vitro, you know, and tested it even on human um, Ghanaian breast cancer tissues, it is effective. Despite the progress made so far, officials fear funding constraints could delay the project. Professor Apiopon says this is critical especially as the institute will be required to work with external collaborators in areas of capacity limitation. Indeed, drug discovery can take a while. What, like you said, it can take 10 years, it can take 20 years, but it can, can just take just about 10 years now, or even less, depending on the efforts and the funds that are available. Uh, because you get a lot of support. For instance, this cancer is, is, is a critical condition. And so if you have something that is effective and you have stakeholders, people who are interested in supporting uh, you know, this work, then life gets much easier because there are steps that it has to go through. It has to go through a couple of, I cannot list all the steps, but it has to go through a lot, a couple of developmental steps. And they ha we have to screen it very well to make sure that when it goes to the market, it's not going to create problems. Meanwhile, female employees of Angugut Ashanti have reached out to project partners with a donation of 27,000 Ghana cities to support the initiative. Human Resource Superintendent at Angugut Ashanti, Holder Ahin, presented a check for the amount. As a company, it's part of our social responsibility to support uh, the health initiatives within uh, our communities. So we decided to donate uh, to the Noguchi uh, Memorial Center so that they can help uh, it. Uh, they can help in their research to uh, reduce the impact of breast cancer in Ghana. From Kumasi for Joy News, Ohimi Tiria reporting.